Cobra Kai is so ridiculous. It's so silly. It's so corny. It's so dumb. It's so ludicrous. But my God, it's good. And I cannot get enough of it. Welcome to Agents of Screen. I am your boy Miles, aka the Bald Beyonce, and welcome to my reaction for the season five finale for Cobra Fucking Kai. Oh, I shouldn't be doing that. You'll have to excuse me. <clears throat> uh, my voice sounds a little bit different because over the weekend <coughs> I lost my voice, so I apologize if you know you can't really, you know, or if I'm coughing or if I, yeah. I apologize, but I do hope that the extra coarseness, the extra deepness makes my voice sound a little bit more sexy, pause, as opposed to on death's door or sounding like Vecna. So I'm hopeful, but Cobra Kai, <laughs> Cobra Kai is so ridiculous. It's so silly. It's so corny. It's so dumb, it's so ludicrous, but my God, it's good. And I cannot get enough of it. I cannot get enough of it. I don't want to waste too much time to get in the finale, but random things that I enjoyed across the season. Drunken Chosen, he was going on sick in the club. Imagine when Karate Kid 2 came out and they said to you 30, 35 years from now, however long it's been, Daniel, Johnny Lawrence and Chosen will be in a club boogieing down, getting drunk together, celebrating pregnancies and having a go whale of a time. You think of what? What? How? That, that don't even make sense. I can't even fathom it. But yet here we are and we're having a whale of a time. And I love that for us. Speaking of the club, Miss Diaz or, or Carmen as I call her. Oh, oh, she must be from the Dominican Republic or something because fam, she... She was making me feel some type of way. I think it was the scream from seeing her that made my voice <clears throat> go kaput. Cobra Kai is just, it's so good, man. It has no right to be as good as it is. And just simple things like showing you nostalgic footage. They've done it time and time again, but it's so simple, so easy, yet so effective. Like man, like Chosen has a 35 year backstory and you just, it, like everything just works like everything with terry silver you think that daniel's exaggerating but obviously movies in the 80s were a bit more over the top and certain things that they do then you couldn't get away with now like mike barnes was kicking women in the womb and stuff like that like that shit actually happened and it's canon in the story so when you <laughs> flash back to the story it's like yeah daniel actually went through some shit so it's understanding why he's that way speaking of mike barnes i'm glad that he was not a villain in this because it would have been too obvious it would have been too on the nose so i'm glad that they subverted your expectation but the ridiculousness like <laughs> they, imagine you go to the furniture store to buy a sofa and you see man doing karate fighting and thinking bro go and get a hobby go go take care of your children go play golf or something what, what are you doing what they meeting in larusso motors with the avenger like some avengers assemble headquarters like oh my god like we can't let Cobra Kai take over the valley. It's so ridiculous, but as I said, it's so good. One thing I didn't like though, or annoyed me, I should say, is I didn't like that Kenny beat Hawk in that kind of mini tournament. I didn't like that. I understand at the first point, Hawk was taking it easy on him because Robbie said, yo bro, he's in Cobra Kai, he's young, take it light on him, he don't know what he's doing. So I'll, the first point and the second point was that silver bullet punch, cool. Don't know how the hell Kenny's learning that in one night. Some master technique in one night. Was he in the hyperbolic chamber with Goku and Vegeta? How is he learning that in a single night? We're talking about Hawk. We're talking about an all valley champion. There should be leagues and bounds between these guys. I know months have passed, but there should be no correlation. There should be no contest. Hawk should be leaps and bounds above him. But season finale. I ain't gonna, I've talked too much already. Let's get into this episode. I, I am excited all the way down to my knees, my friends. But before we start, let me know in the comments below what your favorite moments have been this season, what you thought of this season. Let me know. And I'm gonna spend my last days in here. You know. Quickly, another thing that I also really liked. Episode six was, so far, was the best episode this season the whole thing with crease to showing the flashbacks and the rallying of the troops at the end when at the end of episode six i wanted to put on a miyagi do gi and fight everyone on the road but then give, give them a bonsai tree after i wanted to fight everyone I, I was ready to go to a war 
I was ready to go to war and fight anyone with a ponytail on the road, bro. This man dumb. The thing with Kreese, I don't know if he's ever being genuine. I'm inclined to believe so. Yes, but, John. <clears throat> but I just don't you know. Made mistakes, but you still have time to try and make up for them. This could be an Oscar-worthy performance. That's enough. That's what he's just asking for. There you go. It's not worth it. Rose, oh shit. Sign our sensei. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. Oh my god, what the fuck? Now this has to be a dream. This has to be a dream. This ha that has to be. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? This just took a turn. Is that how we're kicking off? Man got shanked in prison. <laughs> what the fuck? And I was literally going to say, I don't care how old Chris is. Man and Steen and my pudding in jail. I, and then man just got shanked. I, I didn't know Cobra Kai was going to get this dark. This is, this is stuff that's fitting for like The Wire or like Oz, like an HBO show. Not, not Cobra Kai on, on Netflix. What the hell? I was fine before you showed up. Next thing I know, there's a pile of ashes where my store was. That's true. The place was leveraged to the hilt, Daniel. I'm broke. My wife. Mike, I understand, all right? This boy is putting. Let's see you call acting. Silver is the one who's responsible. He burned down your store. He's made all of our lives a living hell. Is that and snitching? We're all drunk, and judging by the size of his pupils, Bart's not something even stronger. Okay, this is Say a terrible. what? I mean, yeah, it is. Which is why Silver's never going to see you coming. It's happening. Mike Barnes is on that cocaina. He's on that Justin Bieber. He's on that Cess. He's been whipping that white girl. I want to see. I want to see the one with the... Oh, shit. I want to see the one with the eye patch. Where's the one with the eye patch, bro? Uh-oh, fellas. I don't think this is going to turn out. There he is. With that one with the eye patch. You just have to punch him in his right eye. He can't see on that side. Parking in our driveway. Well, can you see who is? It's Cobra Kai. How do you mean, bro? I'm gonna do in, in home invasions. No, what the hell's going on here? This is escalating quick. What are they gonna do? It's over karate. First, first, uh, Jake Paul. And now chosen, Tyron Woodley's taken so many L's this year. Oh, Stingray. Is it Stingray? It must be Stingray. I can't lie. Mr. LaRusso! Come with me if you wanna live. Yeah, I know I, I get a reference, I get a reference, I uh, I get a reference, uh, ATZ, I get it. But I don't care for Stingray. I'm not here for any Stingray Redemption arc. As far as I'm concerned, it's fuck Stingray. Don't give a hell about him. He, if, if it was down to me, he would die. Friends ever stepped into this dojo again? I didn't even know we were here. I don't know. Mitch, come on. Get your ass over here where you belong. Come on, Mitch. Come on, Mitch. Penis breath, you know. That's mud, fam. Judas. Judas. Penis breath, how could you? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe because they don't call me penis breath. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Whoever wrote that line of dialogue on the script is a champion. Penis breath, how could you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, my Cobra Kai is so good. What us? The only person who lied to me is you. Robbie's hey, right. You don't want to do this. Talk to that boy. Talk to him, Diaz. Yeah, I do. 
Ross, I'm so excited. <laughs> so, so sorry, Mr. Larissa. All I wanted was to get back in the Shut room. up. I didn't think anybody room, was going to get hurt. Just have to get to the kids before someone gets hurt. Don't you worry, Mr. Larissa. We will. What are you doing? It's pitch black now. Stingray, she better in the dark. I hate this nigga so much, bro. If any, if anything happens to Miss Diaz uh, and and Miss Larusso because of Stingray driving with them fucking sunglasses, it's gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him. This is evidence. I'm gonna fucking. You will beg for mercy, right? Talking like G Unit. Well, do it for Okinawa, bro. For Okinawa. <laughs> Get this Guaylo out of here. Find out what you really made of. Get the strap. Get a strap chosen, and forget all this karate Not stuff shooting. Okay. Just when I thought they couldn't up the levels, here we are, man. And, and we got over, we got over 27 minutes left. Bro, I'm, I'm like a kid at Christmas right now. Is, is he gonna, is Chosen gonna die? Chosen's not gonna die. Cause it's gonna be Daniel that has to deliver the the final blow to Terry Silver, but what's going to be his motivation? Isn't it going to be Chosen losing his life, surely? No, no way. Yield. Yield. I was meant to die on the battle. Do it. Nah, just pierce his bullsack, man. Don't kill him. Oh! oh! The stun double is bleeding, man. Oh, Valley. Yeah, this is the fight I wanted. I'm not your enemy. This is the fight I wanted. This is Obi Wan versus Anakin. Get the high ground on him. Raw. This is much further than I ever expected Cobra Kai to go. This is much further than I ever, ever expected this to go, bro. This is, this is like some life and death shit. This is like some Mission Impossible, James Bond. What is this? Tomorrow never. What is this, man? Oh, you look like shit. Where's the other one? Outside. That's his first piece of dialogue this season. <laughs> Let's go, Miguel. There go, Dimitri. You got your turn. This is your time. So good. Bitch. Yeah. I would definitely subscribe to Miss Kim's Sensei Kim's OnlyFans. But she has to go down, bro. She has to go down. It has to be three on one. It has to be three on one. I'm missing one final piece. That's the piece, that's the piece we're missing. That's the piece I'm missing. You can be a champion. Do not throw that away. I will be a champion. Regardless. I'll my way. Yes, yeah, talk. I don't need you. Save your brother. We've got this. I don't need you. Earlier on in the season when she was doing some kick and draw with the pads. Not so Who's bad. going on sick, like. That's it. I'm calling the cops. Mm -mm. Go ahead. Uh, don't call no cops. Look, I'm not gonna fight a bunch of kids. Yes, you are. You don't have to, Mr. L. I'll take this trash out. I'm not here for Stingray. I'm not here for this, man. I'm not here for this. I don't care what you do. I don't care what you do. I don't, I don't care about Stingray at all. Stingray. Whatever, man. Get him off my screen. Come on. I'm off my screen, please. They're hearing you, but they ain't listening. Your words. Oh, you get old. I'm about to say, you fight for your unborn child, Johnny. This is unrealistic, but we're going with it. We're going with it.
Next eye gone. Now you have to wear two eye patches, bitch. Oh, Tyron Woodley takes yet another L. Oh my god! Finally. Even though that stun double was big, finally, Barnes. Uh, you were out from the first two minutes, bro. I did most of this. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, Everything you've worked for in your entire life has led to this one moment. Roll with you, Daniel. Mr. Miyagi, Mr. Miyagi told you defense only, but when it's time to fight, this is that time. Everything you've worked for, your family on your line, your friends, your daughter, everyone you've ever mentored. Chosen. They broke into your house. This. They tore your family apart. They wanted to end your marriage. Yeah, it's back hand like a pimp. Man caught his fist in between his elbow and his knee on some on some Sagat shit. Again, that's mad unrealistic, but I'm here for it. Rule number three. Man can't see. He can't fight. Don't go, don't cry, get number one. That's the legendary technique is unbeatable, 100% damage. They to they've told stories about that kick for decades, and here we are, full circle. That hoodie is hard. That hoodie is hard. What are they going to do in season season six? What are they going to do in season six? But you know, I'm really not in the mood for all that heartfelt shit, so for now, maybe just kiss me. She's talking my language. That's a good woman. Use tongue, bro. Please. I think that that just seemed like it was more important. Miguel, you're too good for her, bro. Thank you. You may not realize it now, but you, you, you soon will. Of course. I mean, that's what you do when you love someone, right? Oh, to, ooh, you talk, Miguel talking sexy. Never seen that before. Uh, I do. Go on, son. Love you too. Oh. <laughs> Kiss him. <laughs> Young love. Young love. Where's Chosen? Let's see you first. Ooh, everybody's talking sexy today. You can't get rid of me that easy. The thought of losing you. Man said, man said, I am hurting from, I'm bleeding internally. But I love you so much, even though I am on death's door, I need to stop and see you first. I'm good, but I ain't that good. I can't talk that talk. Get you a man that loves you like that. <laughs> He's chosen, you know, man got slashed in his back, in his arms. What a soldier, man flew all the way from Okinawa. Yeah, all your flesh, hey, hey, come here, help me. Come fully on smoke, you didn't care. You didn't hear what happened. This is a ploy. This, I'm sure this is a ploy, fam. Crazy bastard tried stopping the fight. He got what he deserved. He didn't really get stabbed. He didn't really get stabbed, fam. It's a blood pack, I'm sure. It's ketchup, right? Are you? This is enough to chill out. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Uh, Even for was... Cobra Khan. Go, go. So, uh, so you're telling me that when they brought him in, they thought he was dead, but they didn't check his pulse, anything, to see if he was still alive. And now he's walking out at the front doors just because he's wearing some clothes, like Agent 47. 
Cobra Kai, you're asking a lot of me. You're asking a hell of a lot. I told you it was an Oscar performance. I told you. I told you. You're making Chris seem like some criminal mastermind, like some Gustavo Fring. I've loved this episode. I didn't like this though. It's a bit too much of a stretch. Round of applause nonetheless. Round of applause nonetheless. I love Cobra Kai, bro. I fucking love Cobra Kai. We all saw what just happened. But um, me personally, I don't know if that's enough, an interesting enough storyline to carry a whole season, season six. I'm not sure. What's Kreese's motivations? I don't know. Now he's an actual criminal. He's broken out of prison. He's on the run from the law. Where do we go from here? I don't see how it can top what we've already seen in terms of the seasons. But speaking of which, I'm not going to say any more. My discussion for that, I'll leave that for another day. But I want to hear from you. What did you think of the season? What do you think of the finale? Do you think there's enough story, interest and enough story to take it to season six? Can it be topped? I didn't think it could for season four, but season five, my word. We didn't get a tournament as such, but this, this was even more interesting than that. So put in the comments below your feelings. I want to hear from you because I'm, I'm feeling a bit conflicted. I want to know if the tribe, the Cobra Kai tribe feels the same way. So if you enjoy it, please consider like, sharing and subscribing to the channel. I've been your boy, Miles. This has been Agents of Screen and until the next video, we come extremely soon. Peace.